Hey everybody, Todd McFarlane here. No, not Todd McFarlane. Wish I was though. Money, power, respect. One of the most rev you know respected artists in the community. Co-creator of Image Comics. Everybody loves the guy. I wish I was Todd McFarlane. Anyway, I just wanted to make a little video real quick to showcase something I'm working on. I'm going to be doing a little fan film. I've been working on this thing for the last two years. Never work on anything for two years. This is dumb, dumb. But well, we got we. I'm getting there, man. I've got all the tools. I've bought things. My money I've made to actually finish it. We will finish it. We'll release it, and nobody's gonna see it. Nobody's gonna care about it, and that's okay. I just wanted to show this thing off here. This is gonna be the prop I use. For the, there will be a search for the Dragon Ball in the movie. I bought a Dragon Ball online. Now I have one, and you can clearly see it. This thing is spinning around. You don't know why it is. It's levitating. How the hell does that happen? Magic, my friend. Magic. Yes, indeed. This thing is levitating. Ooh. Well, it's a levitating platform, and I, you know. You go along in life, man. You think to yourself, you've seen it all. Somebody out there invented this thing. You basically put it in your office and something floats on it all day. And it's just awesome. I mean, you can just spin things on it. I'm planning to turn it into a globe display so that I can have a little world globe that floats. I'm thinking about how to get that to work. It's going to be quite interesting to see how that comes about. Mostly, mostly though, I just want to use it for the Back to the Future display. I'm get the DeLorean. But this is really cool. It's an extremely powerful magnet, so it's got a lot of, you know, it's got a lot of pull. If this thing goes down onto the platform, you got to really struggle to get it off. Um, this is amazing technology. I'm really, really happy with it. I think it's definitely worth it if you want to get one. I got it for like $50. I don't know how much it's for anywhere else, but it's pretty cool. So check it out.